There are several scoring systems in ICU which is developed to predict the mortality of the patient due to underlying disease. Some of the scores which is done within the 24 hours includes Apache score, second SAP score or simplified acute physiology score, third mortality prediction model or MPM, fourth LOTS logistic organ dysfunction score. The scoring system which can be repeated during the patient's stay in the hospital or ICU includes SOFA score, GCS score, organ dysfunction and infection system, organ system failure and uh, multiple organ dysfunction score. In this video, we will be discussing regarding the SOFA score or the sequential organ failure assessment score. Sequential organ failure assessment score or the SOFA score. Previously, it was known as the sepsis related organ failure assessment score. In this video, we will be discussing regarding when it is done, why it is done and how it is being interpreted. So coming to the first heading, when do you calculate the score? It is to be done after 24 hours of admission to the ICU, after which it, can, it is to be repeated every 48 hours thereafter. So why do you calculate the score? Firstly, it is done to identify patients who potentially have a high risk of dying from infection or sepsis. Secondly, it is done to determine the extent of person's organ function or rate of failure. Thirdly, it is done to predict the clinical outcome of critically ill patient by tracking their status during their stay in an ICU. The score is based on six different scores. That is, you evaluate for the six system, respiratory system, cardiovascular, hepatic, coagulation, neurologic, renal. In each system, you evaluate for one important variable. That is, if in respiratory system, you evaluate for PaO2 by FiO2 ratio. In cardiovascular, you check for the amount of vasoactive medication or ionotropes, which is necessary to prevent hypotension. Hepatic system, you evaluate for uh, bilirubin level. Coagulation, you check for the pla platelet count. Neurologic, as we know, the Glasgow Coma Scale. Renal uh, system, the important one is the serum creatinine or urine output. This is the table which shows the values and how the scoring is being done. If the score is zero, it's almost normal and no organ dysfunction, whereas four is uh, of a higher value and major organ dysfunction. We calculate the each variable and uh, under which category it falls, we score it accordingly. If suppose uh, if PaO2 by FiO2 ratio is less than 400, it is categorized as it is given as one point. Whereas if it is less than 300, it is given as two point. Similarly, it's uh, applicable to all other systems. So the lowest score is uh, zero and the highest or the worst prognosis of the patient becomes 24. So how do we interpret the score? The SOFA score, it can be assumed to be zero in patients not known to have pre-existing organ dysfunction. It is an organ dysfunction score itself. When do you say the patient has organ dysfunction? It is defined as an increase of two or more points in the SOFA score. That is, if the hepatic system is two or more, it is given as hepatic failure or hepatic organ dysfunction. Similarly, it is applicable the same for the all other organs. The limitation of the scoring system, as we saw, there are multiple variables and to evaluate it is very cumbersome in procedure. Secondly, it is not well known outside the ICU settings. Due to the cumbersome nature of the SOFA score, QUIC SOFA score was developed and it was introduced in February 2016 as a simplified version. It was developed to be used in non-ICU setting where the healthcare provider might not have access to all the information used in the SOFA score. That is, this scoring can be used in ICU as well as non-ICU and it can be easily and quickly be repeated serially on patients. The variables includes hypotension in which systolic BP is less than 100, tachypnea rate of more than 22, and altered mental status or GCS with less than 15. Each is given one point. And if a score is between zero or one points, 
the patient is not considered as high risk and uh, you can continue the same management. However, if the score goes more than 2 or 3 points, there is a high risk of poor outcome and it's associated with organ dysfunction. You can remember it as HAT, that is H-A-T, hypotension, altered mental status and tachypnea. So what is its medical use? It's used in the identification of early sepsis as well as identification of patients who are outside ICU potentially at risk of dying from sepsis. So thank you guys. That's it of now. Thank you for your patient listening.